Today is June 14th and it's day 8 of the cruise. Now we just woke up and we're going to breakfast because our shore excursion is a little later at 1 p.m. We're eating some breakfast at Raffles Court. Go to shore excursion. Many of, many of them, they started being built 2,500 years before Christ. And as I said, they are the oldest freestanding temples in the world. And here we are in Tarshin, and in this complex they are, there are four temples. So, how did they build these temples? The, all these temples were built in globi with Globigerina li limestone, Globigerina limestone on the inside, and Coraline limestone on the outside. So they were used to transport the big megaliths. They were put manually and also with the help of animals. Finally, they were put in place with levers or with pulleys. Or with pulleys. So this is the procedure how they used to build these temples. Now here we have four temples. Temple number one is up there, um, a bit far away from here, we will also visit. Number one is very, very basic and we can see also Temple number two is near it. Temple number three is is uh, is over here, and temple number four is further up there. In other temples, we have uh, temples with two apses, two semicircular rooms, three apses, four apses, and five five apses. The only temple with six apses is found over here. And by the way, all this complex was found buried under the ground. There was a farmer who would try to blow his land and he was grumbling that he couldn't go and work his fields because he was hitting stones. Then the stories came and they found this temple which was all underground. The entrance over there is a modern reconstruction. Okay, because some of it was also broken because it was underground. Is it difficult, the question? No. Okay.
also the things that we found from the Bronze Age. The art is different from prehistoric people. This is temple number three. This shows you how they were able to move those big blocks by putting them onto circular stones and it's way easier. So now how did they do it? Stone blocks were cut from near the building site and they took advantage of the natural fissures to make the rocks easier to move. The megaliths were smoothened and finished on site. And internal passages and paved floors were probably built before the external walls were finished. Different ways may have been used to lift megaliths into position. And we can see two possibilities, use of wooden structure and an earth ramp. So, this is an altar where to put the animals to make sacrifices to the gods. This is the first art over here, tick, 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 tick. and here we have the art with the spirals. With the spirals. Over there, if you come forward, there is the libation hole. It's over there. It was used to put the blood of the animal um, as a sacrifice to the gods. And you can see these are called portholes. We can see that there are holes over there, and it means that that room was covered with a skin of the animal, for example. Mm. So from there, they cannot see what's happening over here, and the same thing over there. There are also holes, so from there, they cannot see what was happening over here. Mm. If you go to come, I'm over here. There is the core belly. Can you see the higher up? The higher it's 6.4 meters wide, and it weighs more than 20 tons, okay? And it is high three meters. And you can imagine what a big feat it was to transport it. And they transported it in round stones, okay? Metal tools, they build the oldest piece and they now going to visit the caves of Gardala. <laughs> There was the Ice Age um, in Europe, but in Malta this was felt a lot. With the Ice Age, the sea, as I said, was it got incorporated into the ice and the level of the sea went down. This caused, this caused a bridge between Malta and Sicily. So the animals, as we can see over here, in search of warmth, they moved south. 
they move south. Then, when the ice started to melt, the level of the sea went down. And these poor, these poor elements over here were stranded. They were stranded and we had the survival of the fittest. All you, I mean, they fight against each other or they adapt. They adapt and we had nanism. We had the uh, elephant dwarf and everything was much, much smaller. With the rain, we have this hole over here. It is a smaller cave. And we found it's important how the layers were found. This is very important. So, at the bottom, we had the bone free, no bones, just a clay at the thousand years ago. So the deer survived here longer in Malta. The hippopotamus there is from about 180,000 years ago. And the pottery of the first people that arrived here in Malta, okay? The, and this small elephant, dwarf elephant, okay? As I said, it was inclined the bridge between Sicily and Malta. And Now number two, the layer further up. Number three, there is the pebble layer. Can you see that small mountain sort of? And then there are the deer layer and the cultural layer, etc. We'll see them over there. Now another thing. Over there, there are more bones. But we have left everything over there. Why? Because probably in 20 years time, there will be more technology, better technology, and you can be more accurate about dating. Bought some shirts at Hot Rock Cafe and now we're heading back to the ship. So good night. The boat is rocking really hard right now. So, we're all gonna go to sleep to prevent from seasickness. <laughs>